All right. Welcome back, everyone, to Go In 5 Minutes. Uh, we've been out, uh, as I wrote in a blog post earlier, uh, we've been out for over a year now. Uh, so I really appreciate everyone coming back and uh, picking up uh, just where I left off. Uh, this is episode 18, and we're going to cover a pretty popular and uh, highly requested topic. Uh, that is how to write a CLI or a command line interface uh, in Go. So we're going to use today uh, a package called Cobra. This is a package written by a user called SPF13 on GitHub. Uh, he's been around in the Go ecosystem for quite a while, and he's written quite a few uh, super popular Go packages. Uh, so this is my favorite command line uh, tool, command line package. I've written tons and tons of CLIs with this thing over the past year plus, uh, and I really wanted to talk about it today because uh, I truly believe this is probably the most popular and useful uh, CLI package. So we'll go over uh, just sort of the basics on how to write an app. Uh, we're just going to see a little bit of complexity on how you can make your CLI, you know, powerful. Uh, you can add a subcommand, you can add some flags, and so on. So let's get into the code. Here we've got our main function. Uh, the basics are here. So you create sort of a top-level command. It's called Cobra command. Um, we don't really have to put too much in here for a basic app, uh, but you can get pretty powerful. There are tons and tons of fields in this struct that you can use. Uh, but, but the basics here are the short description. We're just going to say hello gophers. You can put a long description if you like. And then here we're going to say if there's an error in the command that's executed, whatever it is, uh, we're not going to remind people of the usage of that command. Um, you can turn this off, which means people will see the usage on an error. Uh, that can actually be pretty helpful. Uh, but we're going to silence it for now. And then here is where the real power comes in. We're going to add some functionality to this CLI uh, by adding a subcommand. And you can lay out subcommands in a tree, basically, and that tree can get as deep as you like. Uh, so some commands, or excuse me, some CLIs actually take care, uh, take advantage of that, excuse me. Uh, and they'll have, you know, a really, really deep command structure that provides tons of power. And then down here, this is where we actually execute stuff. Um, the execute function will return an error, and then on an error, we'll we'll just go ahead and exit one on a failure. Uh, and Cobra will take care of logging everything for you. Uh, you don't have to log anything here or really anywhere else. Cobra takes care of all that for you. So it's super nice. So let's see print time command. This is where we actually do some functionality. So this is the actual um, CLI action you'll see on the command line when you run this thing. And then here is the functionality. So this is pretty simple. Uh, run E is my kind of preferred field. Uh, there are others that define functionality too, but I like this one because here you see it allows you to return an error and then Cobra will take care of sort of translating that error into actual output uh, that gets printed to the terminal. So pretty simple, we just print out and format the current time. Command has uh, print functions methods on it, uh, so you can take advantage of those. Um, I'm just printing out a simple hey go first statement with the time. And then here, we're returning nil. And that is telling Cobra that, hey, nothing failed. This is a successful command. Uh, and Cobra, if go back to the main here, Cobra will not return an error there. And just by virtue of how main works, we'll exit with zero, which indicates to uh, the caller on the CLI that this was a successful command. So let's go see it in action. We're going to make build. We got our episode 18 binary. And this is sort of what happens when you uh, execute it at the root. So you see available commands here. Cur time is our command that we're going to actually use. And Cobra has help built in. So you can do any command followed by help. Uh, and you'll see something that kind of looks like this for that specific command. So let's see there. Episode 18, cur time, we'll execute that clear the screen there, and there you see it. You've got that, uh, that print line that we saw in the print time command file. Execute it one more time. You can see this is actually executing that code every time. You see the number of seconds went up as we execute this thing over time. So that is about it for today. 
Uh, we saw one of the most popular uh, CLI packages. Uh, this thing, if you go to the Cobra uh, GitHub site, you can kind of see here where this thing is used. So these are some of the biggest Go applications out there. Uh, Kubernetes is a really huge and popular uh, uh, Docker container orchestration system. Hugo is a static site generator that's got a lot of popularity. Uh, and the list goes on and on. This isn't even uh, everything that Cobra is built on. And then we go down a little bit. The docs are great on GitHub. Uh, and also the Go documentation is really, really nice too. This is one of the best documented uh, Go packages that I've ever seen. So I really, really encourage you to uh, check out some of these examples here if you like. Just peruse the docs here. Uh, and maybe try using it in your next command line application. It's a really, really nice package. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in after more than a year. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing on with Go in 5 Minutes. So stay tuned, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Take care.